What's going on guys, this is Kedar here and today in this video on social security, many people right here in the community ask me this very important question, is social security going to run out of money very soon and actually 71% of Americans are worried about social security that it will run out of money in their lifetimes. Now there are two sides of coins whether it will run out or not but here is what the experts have to say and today in this video we will give you a clearer picture what will social security will look like in the year 2035 and in the upcoming years and we'll check out how much longer will social security be around why social security is really in a big trouble what will be the worst case scenario and what are some ways to balance social securities so that it will actually sustain now many people right here in the community asked me this very important question right here in the comments down below is social security really gonna run out of money in the upcoming years and actually this answer extends in two different directions there is no simple yes or no but there are a couple of useful details that every social security beneficiary should know in order to figure out whether their social security benefits will gonna receive a cut while some beneficiaries might receive cuts starting from 25% going all the way up to 100% cuts in their social security payments so without further ado let's discuss all the important details but before we jump right into the video make sure to check out our channel for all the latest updates whether it's social security benefits the increases raises to your benefits state-wide stimulus update do check out our channel make sure to subscribe with all the bell notification turn on so you'll never miss new videos we upload every single day we are committed for your money benefits we try to boil it down all the latest updates in short videos like this so do check out our channel and with that being said make sure to smash that like button for me that really helps out pushing out all these videos and with that being said let's jump right into the video okay so one of the top surrounding stories with the social security whether the program will run out of money and when well the actual answer is complicated it's not just yes and no but the short answer is social security will definitely not be running out of money anytime soon unless something unforeseen happens although one thing to note though future recipients might have to get by with a lower monthly payments than that current recipients are getting. So for millions of retirees, social security beneficiaries, social security provides essential source of income in the retirement. And in the 2020, around 50 million retired workers collected social security benefits according to Social Security Administration. However, based on the recent 2022 Social Security Trustees report, that report found out that in the 2034, retirees will start receiving reduced benefit if Congress does doesn't fix the funding issues with the social security program. In other words, that means social security will exist after 2034, but retirees will only receive 77% of their full benefit. As per the statement from Alicia H. Munel, Director of Center of Retirement Research at the Boston College, no major social security legislation has been passed at all since the early 1980s, and therefore we have this event coming up that forces Congress to either do some Thing or most people's benefits are going to cut nearly 25%. So in order to understand why social security is facing this long-term financing issue, we'll check out how social security is actually getting financed. And it's actually very important to know that how it actually works. And first off, social security is funded through a payroll tax deductions. Therefore, these payroll taxes are taken directly out of employees' paychecks and are paid by both employees and employers. In the year 2022, payroll taxes up apply up to $147,000 for an individual's annual income and the payroll rate for the social security is 6.2%. This means that employees actually pay 6.2% and employers pay 6.2% and self-employed people will pay entire payroll tax rate of 12.4%. And when a worker pays social security payroll tax, that money doesn't go to a specific social security fund allocated just for them. Current workers are paying into a system that pays for the benefits of all the current retirees. And in 2022, for every dollar you pay in the social security payroll tax, 85 cents goes towards the social security trust fund that pays monthly benefits to current retirees and their families, as per the social security administration said. And therefore, other 15 cents go to 
to a trust fund that pays the benefits to people with disabilities and their families. In recent years, there has been excess of reserves in the Social Security Trust Fund. The amount of the money the Social Security Administration collects through payroll taxes exceeded the amount of money the Social Security Administration pays out in the benefits. And as per the prediction, it's all predicted out that money is going in from current workers to the money going out to all the Social Security beneficiaries, as said by Kathleen Roaming, Senior Policy Analyst. And you want to have the worker to beneficiary ratio at sort of healthy level where you don't have too few people working and many people are receiving the Social Security benefits. So it's very important to manage that ratio, healthy level of ratio of workers and the Social Security beneficiaries. And speaking of the next important thing, over the next 10 plus years, years, the Social Security Administration will draw its reserves as a decreasing number of workers will be paying for increasing number of beneficiaries and this is due to a decline in the birth rate that took place right up to the World War II from 1946 to 1964. People are having few children because the birth rate is declining therefore you just have few workers paying for beneficiaries. Therefore, starting in the 2034, Social Security Administration will run out of the excess reserves that it has and only able to pay out proportion of retirees in the form of their full benefits. To be exact, this will be their 77% of their benefit. This means that retirees could receive reduced monthly benefits or pure checks each year unless there is a significant policy change made by the US government. And speaking of the comments I received, many people actually hear the words insolvency, bankruptcy for the social security program and they are basically talking about is it just going to disappear? But in reality, Social Security has been around well over 8 years now and it has actually more support than just about any other government function. So it's very highly unlikely that it is actually going to disappear anytime soon. Moreover, the sooner the lawmakers act, less dramatic those changes may be whether it's higher taxes, benefit cuts or a good balanced combination of both of those, whatever the adjustment they would likely consider, it's not so serious and significant that the program is going to disappear as said by many professionals but it is also not an easy fix to the problem that you can simply wait for last minute and just patch up overnight. These benefits cuts would be likely less than 25% if they happen at all and based on the research the social security benefit cut would seriously affect the person's monthly checks but the likelihood of going it to the zero is actually close to zero. No time soon social security is gonna disappear it's gonna stay there but cuts are probably expected but as of right now we didn't got any sort of a clear information on that no official information however the most important thing is the program will have to find and figure out the way to get by with the less money while still ensuring that social security beneficiaries will get full and their timely benefits to which most of the social security beneficiaries are legally entitled and while many of those options remains up open for the members of congress a plan released over a summer by Republican study of committee says that the social security full retirement age to account for the increases in life expectancy doing this means that the full retirement age for social security would increase to age 70 from the current full retirement age of 66 and 67 years old which would theoretically could boost the social security funds and also there is another bill introduced by Republican Peter DiPazio and Senator Bernie Sanders that would increase increase the monthly payments to the social security recipients and also boost out the program's funding by applying the social security payroll tax on all income above $250,000. So whether social security run out of money, will you get reduced benefits? Well, time will tell the story and we will have to wait what will Congress do on this one and the political party in the power will have the possibility to change the answer whether social security beneficiaries will receive a reduced amount or not. I guess time will tell the story what will happen to the social security benefits in the upcoming years. So what do you think about this? Do let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to check out other social security related videos on our channel whether it's social security increases, whether it's social security payment schedule, double payments and make sure to subscribe with all the bell notification turn on to stay updated to new videos we upload every single day. Make sure to smash that like button for me that really helps us and thank you so much for watching this video till then.